Charlie here, your frugal tech. You know, one of the questions I get asked a lot is, well, how secure is keeping your data in the clouds? Well, I think the recent news that's going around about the Twitter hack uh, kind of sums up my feelings about what's going on. And if you're not familiar with the story, here it is basically. About a month ago, a uh, Twitter uh, employee by the name of Jason Goldman, and he's a product manager at Twitter, had his Yahoo email account hacked. Uh, and it's not hard to do. Uh, normally, if you're locked out, they will uh, ask to send you a new password to another email address. But if you don't have another working email address, why, then you go to another page and answer a secret question. And that's what this person who identifies themselves as Hacker Crawl did. Now, once the hacker got the Yahoo account, the personal email account of, of Jason, well, it made short work of getting his uh, Gmail username and password. And once he did that, he was into the Google apps that Twitter uses. And he found things like uh, employee salaries, credit card information, resumes, financial goals and projections of the company. He went so far as to email some of those documents to TechCrunch. Now, that's a premier technology blog. And they published a few of them. Um, this has caused a real big problem, and it makes you wonder what's going on. Well, you know, I, uh, the real question uh, really becomes then is how secure or safe is uh, your important data in the clouds? You know, first thing is you got to have strong password policies. That's just a must. Uh, if you're intending to keep your personal, uh, your private, your organization, your company's business uh, uh, documents and so forth and something like Google Apps, you want to make sure that your passwords are as strong as possible, but you also want to have a thorough understanding of the host's uh, policies as well as far as reset policy or what's called password recovery policies. Um, you know, uh, in Google's case, if you do get an account lockout, uh, you have to go through your Google administrator in order to get a new password. Now, here's my analysis on this, my take, if you will. This should really give pause to any individual or organization looking to host their data in the clouds. Uh, perhaps keeping uh, uh, top security type documents locally. Uh, and then, of course, enforcing strong password protection on their hosted accounts. You know, these services are relatively inexpensive, some are even free, but the trade-off between convenience and security may make it too high, too high of a price to pay. Now listen, I'd like to hear your thoughts and uh, uh, your opinions on this video. Uh, feel free to give us a rating, and we always love to hear from you. Make sure that you watch us every day on our live netcast every Monday through Friday from 1 p.m. to 3 p.m., by visiting www.frugalbrothers.com. Click the tab at the top, the, the button at the top that says Frugal Tech Live. Take you right to that page. This number is named Frugal Tech. Remember, it's in your shop, not making you money or saving you money. Get it out of there. I'll talk to you later.